Blog Talk Radio. Today is open session, really for the folks to get involved, say a little something, something. That's right there. Yash, man, Yash, I don't get Yash. 
I go back to his earlier stuff, man. He, he was raw. You know what I'm saying? That's the Yash I like. Because that's the ignorant Yash. That's the unlearned Yash. That's the Yash that was being taught by greedy, bastard, fat, rotten tooth men who was pimping the minds of the little ones. I woke up. Why haven't you? Because the truth of the matter is, once you take the veil off, you see what man is all about. That's what the Lord told us in, in Matthew with men. Um, nothing is nothing is possible with men. Nothing is possible, but with the heavenly Father, all things are possible because man is too greedy. He wants his own throne. That's why he send them brothers out there on the highways and cheer them on when they get arrested. And that's the most ridiculous stuff in the world to cheer somebody on because they got arrested. The biblical men didn't cheer each other on when they got arrested. They felt a little ashamed because they did everything in the preview. What's that? That means private. They didn't go out in the front podium of Caesar's people and call them the devil with signs. They would have beheaded them. So that's that's the ignorance of our folk. And when you finally realize why the Europeans are over us and why come so many other nations are over us, in the book of Deuteronomy, starting at 28, explains why. Because even today, our people are so stiffened, we can't get along, we can't share bread, we can't share knowledge. We can't talk to each other in one room without somebody drawing a gun. You know, we can't be happy for one another. If somebody's moving forward, we want to pull them back like crabs in a, in, in a bucket. So even to this day, black people, the Negro man, has issues with each other. And you're going to get me to believe if we can look at our skin tones, we can go farther if we separate ourselves from the other skin tone. And that's the most ridiculous philosophy that I've ever heard in my life. And if there's anything of philosophy, I would run from it with like, like gasoline draws, as the Lord always told us in the book of Colossians, right? Be, beware of men of enticing words and philosophy. That's a man that only believes in himself. He has no, no other belief or no other futuristic uh, party that's of spirituality. He, he, he believes in himself. And that's, the, that's what he does. He, he, he totally believes in himself, and, that's, and he's self-centered. He's a bastard, you see, and, 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 and he tries to get you and, and, and stir you his way. And if you don't, he comes up against you. And anybody he's got influences over, he tells all of them to come against you. That's a man. And that's why you can't believe in man and follow man because he's a crazy bastard. Yes, I said it. He's a bastard. You don't mm-hmm. give a damn if he has got a daddy because his daddy's a bastard. Open session, y'all. Description, <laughs> this show is about the folks who give a damn about what's to come. Here we can talk like men, true men and women, as we were in biblical times. So what's on your mind, right? Um, I'm probably going to end this show at 30 minutes because basically I'm not, I don't really have a lot to bring to the platform because open session is about folk interacting. So I'll say about nine more minutes, I kill it, you know. And when folks are ready to come forward with great ideas and understanding of, of the minds, then you can build a, a foundation of righteous folk. But if everybody's sitting on the fence and expecting one man to be the the shadow, it, it's not going to happen, right? So I'll continue to talk to the uh, bookmark of 30 minutes and I will end this. So however, um, that's what the sessions is about. Uh, you telling me what's going on in your neck of the woods and maybe we can just have some understanding of righteousness. Uh, part of the reason why our biblical fathers were so successful with the Heavenly Father because they never forgot who they were. They never forgot how to help one another. And they never forgot how to be thankful and humble. And the generations that we live today, all they teach is the white man is the devil. The black man is a two-third nigger. <laughs> and if anybody's not speaking their language, cast them out. And you see, I mean, just if you got any type of mind, just your common knowledge, your denominator tells you that is horrible thinking. And if you following that, what's that got to say about you? I can raise my hand because I was one of them. 
This is the main reason I leave all my archives on Block Talk. Now, I could go in there and switch them up and erase the bad ones and look like a goody old T.D. Jakes, but that would be so fake. Why not leave everything the way it, it was in its originality? So you can see my progress. You can see I was ruthless, wasn't I? I'd turn the head off you if you wasn't dark-skinned. But coming out of that madness, I realized I was unlearned. And I apologize many a times. And even to this day, I apologize to those who I offended. Not just Caucasian Europeans, but the Moors, the Africans, the Arabs, the Asians, the Russians, any of them. Because a lot of them are our brothers. A lot of them are righteous. And a lot of them are going to be helping us when this thing gets crazy and they be trying to kill the people. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I don't think most people understand because when you get caught up in this color theory, you can't see in front of you, man. And that's a young man's game, but if you don't change your behavior, you'd be an old fool like the rest of them. Can you imagine if how the biblical men, what type of teachings they would have had if they have came to you and said, we don't want to teach you because you don't have dark skin. No, you can't be taught because your skin is too light. I mean, just think about that. It was never about that. In modern day of the West, man found a way. Satan is clever. you got to understand how Satan works through his people. Satan is very clever. Satan put the spirit on man to make up a thing called race. Throw out righteous and put race, and we've been divided ever since. People say, well, yes, I don't understand. I, if they hate us. You in their kingdom, damn fool. You under the curses. You're not going to get the same treatment. They, hey, I get so tired of these red, black, and green brothers talking about we're going to build, get our own, we get our own doctors, our own warehouses because we spend just as much money on Walmart than anybody. If you try to set up shop in a European world, they're going to kill you. Because it's not your time. The Lord is going to bring you down. He's not going to let you do it. We tried it with Blackwater. It ain't going to happen. And we tried it in Rosewood. It's not going to happen. <laughs> I just don't understand it. My, my whole other thing is um, we're under the curses, and you're not going to change that, 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 that factor where we're at. You're not going to come up. You can get what you got and try to utilize what you have. But that's about as good as you're going to get. When our, our brothers who are supposed to be so educated, especially our elders, and they hang on to this race, you need to stop them in their tracks and say, okay, it's about race, right? Okay, who tried to kill Abram? And they're going to say, what are you talking about, man? This dude don't know what you're talking about. Get on down the street. Don't rush people down the street. Answer the damn question. Who tried to kill Abram? Who tried to put Abram in a bonfire, according to the book of Yashar? Because all we have is literature. None of us was there thus far, right? So, according to the book of Yashar, who tried to kill Abram and a bum fire that was set for three days? Nimrod. What was the skin tone of Nimrod? He was of dark skin. Hmm. Who tried to kill the Israelites who was in captivity and tried to kill their leaders for taking them? Pharaoh. What skin tone was Pharaoh? Dark skin. Hmm. So, my friends, I'm asking you a question. The biblical men were of color, and they crucified the leaders of the Most High. They wasn't pigment of white skin. Did. They was just like you and I. So how, in this day and time, you still hooked on color? You're totally unlearned. You shouldn't even be out on them highways and byways. You should be ashamed of yourself and take that gum and then wipe your behind with it because you're full of shit. And that's just the truth. I can't get down like that. I'm so glad and humble that the Lord has mercy on me for my ignorance and took me out of that. Because Lord knows, if you listen to my blog talk shows from early on, I was ruthless of ignorance. And um, 
The change came in 2011 during the time of November, December. Revelation was appearing for me. And the moment I said those things, hundreds of people left me alone. Because why? Our, our people are based upon ignorance and clownship. Listen to what I just said here. Our folks like <laughs> ignorance and clownship. They like a show. They like to be amused. They like for you to hoop and holler and go off on folk. You notice our people, I'm talking about Negro folk who are black Americans, our people love a show of confusion. And let me explain this. Right now, you can go pick up your child from school, and it'd be 20 kids beating up a girl, and everybody sit around and cheer it on and laugh and videotape it and be the world star, world star. If that same incident happened in white school with some adults, with grown men, they break that crap up. We'll sit around and laugh and eat popcorn. Because we're we're dumbfounded, we're but a bunch of our people are nothing but babblers. Atlanta confusion. Don't have a pot to piss in and one to throw it out of. And you notice they're the most angriest. They live in the worst conditions because you're cursed. Karma is a mother, ain't it? You know why you're living in them projects? I come from the projects. I was raised on welfare, but I was delivered. Why? Because the Lord knew me from the womb. I ain't no better than you, but my humbleness gets me everywhere. And then once you become humble, you got to live it. You just can't stay humble. You have to live that humbleness. You have to show the Most High that you're, you're humble and grateful for what he's done. It's just not about saying, patting yourself on the back. I was a liver. I, I mean, I stayed in the projects for 15 years. It's the worst conditions of the world. You get the worst of the worst. You ain't got no rent. The walls are paper thin. You can hear them screwing. You can hear them talking. You hear the phone ring. It's just horrible. There ain't no damn privacy. You can flush the damn toilet and you can hear it. It is the worst condition than prison. The only thing different between prison and the project, you have freedom to go outside and listen to the birds. Yes? So those are curses. And some of our people or living in the worst conditions of mankind. And so they're the most racist, the most hated, and have so much hatred at heart. And let me tell you something. They just don't hate whites, Asians, Arabs, Russians. They hate us too. And then, and you notice how dumbfounded they are because if you don't think like they think and you don't have that hate in your heart, they want to make a parody video on you. That's just ignorance, pure ignorance <laughs> and, and, and totally unlearned. The Satan loves them type of people. Just because you put a garment on and put a sign on your face and scream, the white man is the devil, and black folks who don't get this is two-third niggas, you really believe you're righteous. You really believe that you are walking in the light. If this was the biblical times and them brothers were doing some of that stuff they're doing and, and talking about color cards, our own brothers who are righteous, the elders who are very righteous, would have beheaded them brothers. And then they get arrested by the police, and they talk about they can't stand this truth. Man, Lord have mercy. I, I mean, I don't see, I don't see so much idiotic stuff. Like, I go out here and call the white man the devil, and call the, the the police pigs, and they arrest me, and I throw a Bible up and say they don't want to hear this truth. And they get kudos for that. And I'm going to tell you something. That's what I'm talking about when you follow men. You have to follow the Father. Ain't nothing wrong with listening. Do your own research. and get. That's why the Lord said, well, study thyself to be approved. Man will leave you down to destruction, man. You notice I never told you all to follow me. I told you to listen to what I have to say and research. So I don't know why these ignorant fools come on my channel to my, why should we follow you? First of all, you I, you're not only unlearned, you can't even understand English. Because I've always told people, listen to what I have to say. But research yourself and follow the Heavenly Father. Don't, don't. We're not ordained for you to be following us. When they was following the biblical men, the Lord ordained them people. It was of the Lord's counsel. That's why they could follow. We're not ordained. We're living a poor little sin. And every time you wake up, you're in sin. I, I mean... 
it's hard as hell to try to just live by the law, statutes, and commandments in the West. I'm telling y'all the truth. I'm open with y'all. This is open session, man. I'm not some guy that makes great videos and y'all think I just live so righteously. Man, I got false like some of I don't drink, though. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I'm not fornicating. But I have my faults. Shit. I know I have my faults. There's a lot of things that I do wrong. So I'm telling y'all, don't waste your time trying to follow man. Listen to what they have to say, but do your own research and get to the Heavenly Father yourself. And that's that's by cleaning your temple. Stop eating all this crazy food. Clean your temple fast and do some type of workout, man. That's that's how you get your temple clean. And you start filtering yourself and seeing things clearer. Ain't nobody going to be able to sugarcoat you and come to you with all that craziness. Now when them guys talk, when they talk craziness about me, I can see it now. At first I didn't understand it. I said, these dudes must supposed to be my brothers, but they wasn't. They had no good intentions for me. They just wanted to use me. But when I found out what they were doing, they got angry. See, that's just like a, a coward. A coward would love you when he can bully you and can belittle you, but when you come out from sleep, he don't want to have nothing to do with you. You have a lot of family members like that. As long as they can get your car, go down the street, and they can wear your outfits and put on your cologne and come over and eat a free meal and, and take a dookie every now and then so they don't have to pay their own water bill and wash their behind. The minute you say, look, bro, I don't mind you coming over, but you're going to have to drop a few dollars when you do that because it's costing me. Man, fuck you. Right? You're supposed to be my brother. How long do you I supposed to keep giving you? You're a grown-ass man. Well, when, when are you going to start giving me? It ain't, you know, in the biblical times, we helped each other. We gave. If we went to uh, get, this is this is how I know how these these brothers that call themselves teachers are totally twisted. They don't teach about interacting with each other and giving one hand to the other. All we teach is about is how to come together and march and, and read the Bible. That's foolishness. Listen, it's not foolishness to read the Bible. It's foolishness to not to leave certain important details out. In biblical times, if I came to your house, I either bought you some garments, some food, some kettle, or something of appreciation. When these people come to your your, your your gathering, they crash your party with nothing but their ass. And they be the, listen, they're each out of house and home. And they'll bring people that, they ain't, that have nothing to do with nothing. They'll bring their nieces and nephews and their friends and nephews, and then they'll get all to gold plates. This is our people. And I'm going to be honest with you. Whenever I have an event, I want all nations to participate because I know our people ain't going to do shit, but what's for free? You you, you got to hook up? Uh, you, uh, well, you know, you, you know I, I would buy it, man, but I'm short. I got $2, though. I got $2 on everything. But let Nicki Minaj and Drake or, or Lil Wayne come to town. Tickets can be $500. They'll take the rims off their car to go get a damn ticket, won't they? But let something come up that's righteous, that can benefit your community. I ain't got time for that because our people like silliness. They like clownship. They like to put on a show, but they don't like to walk the walk. They talk the talk, but they don't want to walk the walk. That's our folk. And see, I talk about my people because I can. Well, why could you talk about the other nations? The other nations don't have problems like us. Yes, they got issues. They kick each other's behind, and they fight, and they kill, but they don't have the issues like we do. We have serious issues. We hate ourselves. We hate our nose. We hate our lips. We hate our hair. We hate the pigments of our skin. Yes, our women are totally out of the damn minds. Our babies are twerking on YouTube, trying to make a paycheck. So, yes, I'm pointing the finger because I feel our people have issues. And the ones that take it the most personal are the ones that are with the most issues. When I do my show on uh, YouTube called Let's Talk, it's an eye-opener to wake some folk up. It's unfortunately that 90% of them are going to come against it because they're dumbfounded. Now, you notice this. Check this for a second. When I'm on YouTube, if I start slandering people, and talking about Hollywood real bad with vulgar language and viper words, you know those 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 views that go up to like a damn near a million. Y'all know that? Or somebody else can come get my stuff and use my voice and put it on their stuff, 50,000 hits. You notice that? 
They get a hundred thousand hits, five hundred thousand. I'm the originator. I put the crap out myself, right? I'm not calling it crap because the what I'm telling you, you should already know. So by the time you get it, it's crap because they didn't chopped it and gargitated up so bad you didn't get the full medicine. So that's why I'm calling it that. You get it if you didn't rewind it and try to understand it. So when I put it out, oh, I ain't going. I don't want to hear what he got to say. That same person that says they don't want to hear what I got to say, they go to someone else's side who copied it from me and listened to it and sure, you see this. You see how crazy our people are. And then listen to this. You know about the blood sacrifice video, right? The video is viral, and it's been viral for the last three, four years. It's over a million hits on other people's site. So when people find out I do it, they try to flag it. <laughs> do you understand what I'm telling you? Do you all get what I'm saying? And you got to understand how our people are. Our people are just – we keep saying the white folks can't handle truth. Black people hate truth. They hate truth. You don't even supposed to be putting them weeds in your hair because it makes you bald headed. Did y'all know that? I, I mean, I'm not doing scriptures today. I'm just making point. It's an open session. And maybe next time when we have an open session, y'all won't be scared to tell me what's going on in your community. But I, I just thought I'd start the first one off like this and just see how it goes. You see. But I'm, I, I just want to get y'all on a, on, a, on a path of trying to better yourself. Because I don't know whether or not y'all understand this. You're already living in the mark of the beach, y'all. I don't I don't know if y'all get it yet. I think y'all waiting on Godzilla to come down and say, Take the mark of the beast or take my fire up the ass. Oh and y'all start crying. No, it ain't gonna be like that. It's gonna be hip, cool, hypnotic, settled, just like right now. Half the people in the military already got the shit. Most of Hollywood, who is of Hollywood, have the chip. You have the chip, too. You have it in your debit card. You got it in your driver's license. You got it in your border passes, and you have it in your passports. The only place you don't have it is in your body, and that's coming. I mean, what are you waiting for? I used to what y'all supposed to do. Become more righteous, man. Understand why the Lord never looked at us as niggas, pigs, goose, crackers. He never looked at us like that. He looked at us as a people. He had his 12 tribe, which is his chosen, and he had his righteous people who followed the law of and commandments to the best of their ability. When you start opening your head, go back to the book of Joe, and you want some real knowledge? King James when people read King James, they keep saying the Lord was a man of hatred. He hate, and you know the reason they so hooked on race because they go the Lord hate Esau. Oh Lord Jesus! When the Lord said, "I love Jacob, I hated Esau," it's a figure of speech. Do you have children? I do. How many times have you said, "My little one, I love," but the oldest one get on my nerves. I love her, but I don't like her. But do that mean you want to see them? Do that mean? Do it mean that you want to see them castrated? It's a figure of speech. The Lord is a man of war. He has a race to create a heaven and earth. He can say what the hell he want to say, but without understanding, you're going to take that scripture and run with it. Well, Jericho by love, you saw that's true right there. He, he, he hates the white folk. Do he now? But he just loves everything of color, don't he? Those are unlearned brothers, and they've been that teaching has been passed down since the 80s. And if they don't get away from that, they're going to become uh, unlearned, and they're going to be a danger to themselves. They're going to even start hating their own family, trying to kill their own family, like that dude called Peter Moses. is a perfect example of an unlearned brother. You understand? So I'm not going to take this no farther. Um, I could go another 10, but as I told you all before, this show is mostly for folk, to people. So we're going to call it a day, okay? I have another one. Let's see how that turned out. By the way, the ebook for the music industry, I put it in the chat room. They could give a damn. The book is out. It's an ebook. Y'all want to know this, that, and the other. I went into detail on a lot of stuff. And I want to see how this response goes. And I can kick another one out. Uh, more, the other one will be more 
theatrical about what's transpired in my life. Ooh, oh baby. And, uh, it also would be about what's to come. Uh, I think ebooks are wonderful because when you download them, they're in a PDF file and they're right there at your fingertips, man. I prefer PDF over a hard book because you have to ship it out and you got to get the the doggone uh, barcode. I don't want to deal with all that. Amazon made some uh, quotations about what they could do, but Amazon won't too damn much. If I wrote it, then I should get the royalties. Why should I pay you half of my royalties? Are you doing it sitting there? I don't think so. So with ebook, I control 99% of my wealth, and I control the publishing. I control the right, and that's what I'm into. Until America falls, try to own everything artistically as you can. I don't play the Hollywood shit. I've been, man, I just don't know how many Facebook Hollywood folks want to kick it with me, and I just don't, I don't roll with that because I know if I kick it with them, they want me to join their brotherhood. I can't roll, bro, and they just don't stop coming. They always trying to find an angle, and I ain't, I ain't rolling with them like that. All right. So the book is called Backdoor to the Music Industry Equals Music. It's pretty lengthy. I got a preview on sevenstage.com on, under ebooks when you go to it. And uh, it's not free. It's going to cost you. This book took three months to make. And it's really a short version. It's pretty long for an ebook. It's over 40 some pages, but it's, 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 it's pretty lengthy in detail. And the book going to be 30 bucks. Why? <laughs> you try putting an ebook together in detail like I've done with all the illustrations. It takes a long time, man. And I'm not giving it away. I give a lot of stuff away, but I can't do that. I mean, I'm at the point where I can't just give it away no more. It costs too much. Everything I've given away, it costs me. And I didn't care in the beginning. But now, I can't do it no more. So if I make something nice and it's righteousness, I have to charge because it costs too much money to put it out, man. I was cho- I was paying for all those downloads. Every time they click, I pay for all that. Can't do it no more. So, nevertheless, y'all, I think I said enough uh, for open session. I hope y'all understood it. hope y'all got it. hope it made some sense. If it's brothers and fathers, maybe you start thinking better and start following these fat-ass elders, right? Clean your temple and try to have more understanding that it's about the chosen who are the 12 tribes and the righteous. That's all those who follow the law, statutes, commandments to the best of their ability. And there's a lot of them that's around you, but you don't acknowledge them. If you don't understand what I just said, read Revelation 7 all the way out, because the Lord told us there's going to be so many different nations. That means melting pot of people that's going to receive a white robe you can't count. So is that talking about race? No, that's a melting pot of people, y'all. Stop listening to these old-ass men who stuck in their ways. And listen to the Heavenly Father. I-